I'm Georgia Whalen with LEID Products and I'm here on location at one of our premier armory installations where our BAX asset management system is being utilized to track and store weapons and critical assets. We brought in Detective Lieutenant Kurt Conroy from the Amsterdam Police Department to demonstrate our system. Kurt, thank you for being here today. Before we go into the demonstration, can you explain how it's helped your department? Absolutely. We started using the system in 2010. Law enforcement is using many advanced technologies currently. We still use a antiquated paper logging system for critical assets and weapons. Prior to having the system, an officer would have to find a supervisor, sign out a critical asset, a weapon, a long gun before he went out on his shift. It was time consuming. Now with the back system, we are able to take that out of the system and the officer is allowed to go to the uh, kiosk and sign out the critical assets that he's authorized to use. At times, did you find that your officers had to actually start their shift without their proper equipment? Actually, yes, we, we did have that problem prior to purchasing the system in 2010, which is the reason that my chief wanted to uh, install the BEX asset management system. We had issues with critical assets being somewhere that we couldn't track down. The paper logs were not up to date and accurate. Each item has an RFID chip. It goes into the system. I can see who signed it out on what date, where, where it's going to be, when it was brought in. So it really resolved a lot of those issues of missing equipment. Okay, well, let's go over to the kiosk and we'll let you go ahead and demonstrate the system. So we're here at the, the BAX kiosk. It's the LEID products BAX system, which stands for Biometric Access Control System. What happens is the officer will come into the system. This is the brains behind the operation. He logs in with his fingerprint at the side of the biometric reader. Once doing that, the system will, will ask him whether he wants to acquire or return assets. Begin by placing your finger on the biometric access scanning device. It will then recognize you through your fingerprint. Choose acquire and select which specific gun you would like to acquire. Then select choose on the kiosk screen. Next, remove the specific gun that you have chosen. In order to return the weapon, place your finger back on the biometric access scanning device and remove the wand velcroed underneath. Then wave the wand over the weapon and watch as the kiosk system recognizes that specific gun. Upon selecting the choose button, the weapon locker will open and you may return that weapon to its original locker system. If you decide that you would like to take a long gun out as well, begin by placing your finger on the biometric access scanning device. Choose Acquire and select which specific gun you would like to acquire. Then select Choose on the kiosk screen. Next, remove the specific gun that you have chosen. In order to return the weapon, place your finger back on the biometric access scanning device and remove the wand velcroed underneath. Then wave the wand over the weapon and watch as the kiosk system recognizes that specific gun. Upon selecting the choose button, the weapon locker will open and you may return that weapon to its original locker system. Make sure that the lock is secure. Thank you, Kurt, for doing the demonstration for us today. So in your experience of using the BAX asset management system, would you recommend it to other departments? I would highly recommend LEID's BAX system. We've had it in place for a little over four years now, not only for the convenience, the accountability for the officers, for the administrators. By having the back system, we're allowed to get the job done by having the officers safer on the street, by having the assets that they need when they need them. If you are interested in learning more about how the BACS asset management system can help your organization, please call us at LEID Products for a free evaluation.